Perth drivers are being urged to put our emergency crews first out on the roads. It comes after a shocking ambulance crash south of Perth that's left a paramedic fighting for his life. It's the worst ambulance crash in WA's history. 33-year-old father and paramedic of 10 years, Wesley Ackerman was on his way to pick up a patient. Now he's battling to stay alive. Wes has got uh, quite uh, serious injuries um, and we just know that he's got the best specialists in the state working on him and working with him, ensuring that uh, he's got the best possible outcome. Police say a ute veered onto the wrong side of Mandajong Road, crashing head-on into the ambulance. It's triggered a plea to Perth drivers to always look out for emergency crews, even if they're travelling without lights and sirens. They're incredible, powerful machines that people underestimate. Um, be very aware of the vehicle that you're getting into. Be aware of the people that are around you. Those responding to the tragedy were also put in danger. A 42-year-old driver charged after speeding through the roadblock and crash site, almost mowing down police. Really what we expect from motorists is some respect for emergency service workers. The paramedic behind the wheel, 44-year-old Sharon Price, was unhurt but is undergoing counselling for shock. A fundraising page set up to help the pair has so far raised more than $20,000. You get shivers down your spine just seeing how everybody comes together at really difficult times. And Rebecca Johns joins us live now. Beck Wesley Ackerman is still in a critical condition tonight. Tim, the father of three, is in an induced coma in the intensive care unit here at Royal Perth Hospital with his wife by his bedside. Overnight, he underwent surgery for his extensive injuries, including internal bleeding and multiple fractured bones. The 32-year-old driver of that ute is also here at Royal Perth Hospital tonight. He remains in a stable condition. Police have not spoken with him yet and no charges have been laid. Emmy. Rebecca, thank you.